Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to bring you my How to Beautify Your Android Device Part 9, Audax, and I guess I'll just say custom, because this skin isn't actually any skin from the Play Store, it's one that I just went ahead and threw together, I just whipped up, I couldn't really find any Super Widget skins that I enjoyed with the Audax icons, so I went ahead and created this, which will be linked down below in case you guys want to download this and uh, apply it for yourself. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So as you can see here, I've got my home screen arrangement and that's uh, been something that I've been using lately and I really enjoy it. Uh, the Audax icons are really nice and if you guys want to see a review of those uh, before you actually decide to purchase these icons, I will have my review linked down below as well as at the end of the video for you guys to check out uh, if you guys want to see that. But anyway, there are a couple things that you will need for this setup, of course, and as I usually say, uh, this setup isn't something you have to go by. It's just sort of uh, guidelines if you guys want to put something together maybe similar to this. But let's go ahead and take a look at those apps. So the first app that you're going to need from the Play Store is Audax, the icon pack. A really nice looking icon pack. And the next app you're going to need is Nova Launcher. And as always, I really highly recommend getting Nova Launcher Prime. It is a couple bucks but it is definitely worth it, especially with the gestures that I use in my setups. And finally, Zuper Widget Pro. And again, there's no skin here that you need to download like there has been in the past, if you guys seen previous How to Beautify Your Android Devices, since I actually just created the skin, so I will leave the link down below. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Once you've got all that downloaded and installed, we can go ahead and move on. So if we go ahead and jump into the Nova settings, we can visit the desktop settings and the desktop grid, which is set up as a seven by five grid. Uh, I've got the width margin as well as the height margin set to none, so similar to previous setups. Uh, home screens, I've just got one home screen, so I don't mess around with that. And then, of course, everything else is just as you see here. Now, going back out of there and into the drawer, the app drawer grid has just been left alone at 5 by 4 And everything else is pretty much as you see here. The transition animation is just set to zoom, which is the default. Uh, the tab style is small tabs to give it that KitKat look and feel. Uh, the menu action, I don't have anything there, again, to give it that KitKat look and feel. And then everything else is as you see here. So jumping out of there, uh, my dock and folders, I'm not even going to go in those because I haven't touched those one bit. Uh, but the icon theme there is where you can change it, and I've jacked up the icons to 115%. Uh, they do look really nice the bigger they are uh, to a certain point. I actually have the app animation though set to the slide up which is the L preview. I think it looks pretty nice and I'm definitely excited for Android L so that is where that comes from. And then the gestures and buttons which you will need the Nova Prime variant for. I've got the swipe up for the quick settings, down for the notification drawer, and then double tap for the app drawer since I have no app drawer icon on my home screen. And that's pretty much going to round it out for the Nova settings. Pretty simple, uh, not too difficult there. So once we're done with all those Nova settings, we can go ahead and start placing our apps. Uh, pretty simple here. Now I enjoy the 2x3, but you could also make it a 3x3 grid. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I enjoy the square or rectangular grids more than I've seen home screen set up with circles and other shapes and things like that. Uh, maybe a staircase type design, but I just enjoy the these types of grids. But you guys can, of course, set them however you'd like. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at that widget. So just for simplicity's sake, I'll go ahead and remove it just to kind of do it from the very beginning. Uh, long press on the home screen, a blank area, go to widgets, go to Zuper widget, and then Zuper widget five by two. Now I like to resize my widgets beforehand. That way when I'm editing them, they're exactly as they would look if I just placed them. And then I go to the SD card and go ahead and select the custom one. And this again will be linked down below so you guys can go ahead and download this. And I actually just left the scaling at 100, but if you want to scale it up a bit, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I made it to where it's going to be a little bit bigger at 100, and that's exactly how I like it. And finally, for the wallpaper, you're just going to long press on a blank area again, and then select Audax, scroll down to this blue poly gradient wallpaper, and there you go. So once you've got everything set up and done and ready to go and be used, it's going to look pretty nice. I got to tell you, I really enjoy this setup and it's been my current setup uh, since I've been using Audax. Uh, and I think Albert actually really likes it. He seems to uh, enjoy this setup. So if you guys did, be sure to hit that like button down below. Uh, subscribe also and don't forget to hit the links down below because I will have all the app links you saw here to the Play Store as well as the Zuper skin that I went ahead and created for you guys. And that's going to pretty much round out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.